This is perfect for videography. Pa da, i tamo ima dosta zemljodelja. Reklame spot nešto lišo? Ne, ne, vas ja u Kanada će ne gleda. U Kanada će ne gleda. Mi se vara. Aj, Marihana, vikaš najubava, ok? Kaj znaš ako? Ti pušti Albanci. Turko. Turko da je po dobre od ova. Beautiful harvest. Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to this edition of Borders on Budgets. On this episode, we are in Rossoman, North Macedonia, where this is one of the better areas of the country for agricultural products and we're going to see what we can create on this fantastic autumnal afternoon. Long distance hikes! But having a monkey steal from my camera bag... A kayak with an inexperienced kayaker. Borders on budgets. Gazda, tak ale. Dobre. Počabe ho. Počabe ho. Počabe ho. Pričekaš druga tura. Dobre. Si sprlja ovo tam. I didn't think we would be starting the story with business and money already. What, uh, what's the price for a kilo? Shit. Четири КГ едно евро. У у долар кажи го. А, окей. Четири КГ едно. Four kilograms. We've got a price for every four kilograms of grapes. It equals one euro. И вика на наше прити на вика може би преди тоа што ја баш вино многу. И оно вика не. Па види се на. Coordinating my afternoon is uh, Goran, and so my first question is, why are grapes so important here in Macedonia? We have a lot of sunny days here, and the grapes uh, here have uh, uh, more quality than another country. Uh, grapes uh, they use for uh, eating. And uh, after this, uh, we make uh, uh, a good quality wine, and uh, the final product is uh, uh, distillation uh, homemade rakia. And uh, we'll find out more about rakia later. But in the meantime, what a fantastic day it is! This is early October, and uh, I can see why that the agricultural products in uh, central North Macedonia can do so well here. How many how many grapes do we have? What's its weight? It's quarter of a ton. Quarter of a ton. Yeah. So, uh, so this around 300 kilo wine. Well, there, as the gentleman said, 300 kgs of uh, grapes. This will make a lot of rakia and wine. Well, here is more than 300 kilograms of grapes. Okay, we are approaching the winery and uh, these trucks are containing more than just 300 kilograms of grapes. And all of these tractors and trucks are waiting before taking their produce to scale. And uh, here is the winery where the grapes will be purchased. Guard dog. How much grapes are produced each year in Macedonia? Every year in Macedonia produce uh, 90 million kilograms uh, grapes. Wow, wow, 90,000. With high quality. As, as you can see. This is the big line of tractors here, and uh, they will come into the, the winery on the, on the midnight. Nema mama kazi tuka. Do koje reci tamo vidi? If you like, you make uh, this photo and video. 
Well, that looks that looks mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. like that's a healthy size. Ah, uh, one. Um, this put uh, for uh, mix together paper and this some uh, quality diver. Sajaj. Ooh. So red pepper and the eggplants and, and this. make this together with with this mix put in fire mix together next step ivar macedonian ivar yeah. onions chives mm -hmm. Uh, almost like a, a, a chive or an onion. Mmm. Wow. Is that ever mm -hmm. fresh? Oh, it, uh, it and it even has a little kick to the flavor. Oh, wow. How many kilos? Fifty. Fifty. <laughs> wow. Rasaman is on the main highway between the country's two largest cities, Skopje and Bitola, and this is the Golam Pasar, the big bazaar. Look at the succulents of these chili peppers drying in the sun. So yes, the trick in Macedonian cuisine is to take an eggplant, those chili peppers, some garlic, and that will create what's in this jar of Ivar. For one jar, say for example, these uh, pickled vegetables, five euro, but for three, and that's what I'm going to buy, three jars for ten euro. Vino. Homemade. Vino velo, vino firmo. Corn. What is rakia? The rakia is the uh, rakia is the homemade whiskey uh, made by uh, grapes. And uh, I've had uh, rakia before, not only here in uh, Macedonia, but throughout the Balkans. And uh, it really hits you in the stomach if it's a good rakia. On that note, thank you very much for tuning in to this edition of Borders on Budgets. A reminder, Borders on Budgets, local people, natural sounds, not a lot of money. From Rossoman, North Macedonia, thank you, Goran. And your, Welcome. And your, and, and your friends. Welcome another time. Also, thank you to Daniel and his family and the shopkeepers here at the Golem Pazar. We'll see you on the next episode. Good. And they've got stop in English. Oh, okay. Well, he didn't stop. And the crossing looks safe. Okay, not bad. When you are filming again, please tell uh, earlier to make my hair cut better. Subscribe hey. in the channel. That, uh, I need somebody for my marketing campaign. <laughs>